In this video, we're going to show how the new material tools in Fusion can be modified with texture maps to create more realistic looking materials. To begin with, we'll start by adding a blend tool, and this is one of the material tools that provides a lighting model, and we'll look at the controls that can be adjusted with texture maps. So of course we have the diffuse or base color, we have the specular intensity, which is how bright it is, the specular exponent or how large the highlight is, and of course the color of the specular. So we're going to start by creating a rust texture, and we'll begin with a Fong material. We'll view that in the right display view. Then we'll bring in a texture map of rust against a painted blue surface. We're not going to want the blue, but we'll fix that after. First we connect to the diffuse texture input. That gives us our base texture. Then we add a color correction. We're just going to take out that blue and uh, push the saturation up a little bit, push the, or down a bit, push the gain up a bit. That goes into the specular color to modify the color of the specular highlight. Now we're also going to use a brightness contrast here. We're going to use that to control the specular intensity because we're not going to see as bright a highlight wherever there's going to be rust. So to begin with, we'll use the saturation down to zero and then we'll clip the control using the threshold controls, emphasizing the highlights. The specular intensity is controlled by the alpha channel of the bitmap, so we copy the red into the alpha values. And so now you can see as he moves around in the texture that the uh, light starts, or the specular highlight starts to fade out. And you can see that particularly when we start to adjust specular intensity and specular exponent. Now of course rust is not a flat texture, so what we're going to want to do is produce a uh, bitmap that gives us uh, sort of that idea of the bumpy stippling that you get when you have a rusty surface. So we're going to add a texture bump map tool and we're going to take the uh, desaturated version of the shot out. We'll bring the height scale up and we'll connect that to the bump map material input. And you can already see an effect. We can increase that value by just increasing the height scale to create a much more powerful bump map. And notice how that's affecting the specular highlight as well. Now we need to add a reflection to the surface, so we add a reflect tool and we place it after the fong. So we use the output of the fong as the diffuse map for, or the base material for our reflection. We load up an image uh, that's a uh, spherical uh, map of uh, uh, just an environment. We connect it to a sphere map tool, and then we use that as the reflection color material. Now we can adjust the glancing strength and the face-on strength of that material to give us a, an ideal result. Of course, we'll also want to apply the bump map texture to our reflection so that our reflection is affected there as well. Now, obviously, we don't want the rusty part of this to reflect quite as much as the other, so uh, the main body texture, so we use a reflection intensity texture as well. So we take the output of the bump map, use that to modify the reflection intensity. And that's pretty much all it takes to produce a realistic looking rust-like surface.